is Sean Ruddy coming to you live from Death Manor. Mildred lived here for eight years in this house. I don't want to be remembered as a douchebag. Okay, so this is a found footage film, so if you're somebody who's not interested in found footage films, I honestly implore you to continue watching. Like, don't just click off all because I'm saying this. I encourage you to continue watching to hear what I gotta say about this, because it's definitely gonna be something you're gonna wanna hear. So let me just get into it without further ado. I just don't wanna hold off on this, because this movie is utterly fantastic. It's basically about this, uh, basically kind of like a YouTuber type guy who's controversial, uh, he's done some things that are bad that's gotten him like demonetized essentially and he's lost all his sponsors uh, he's been like banned from uh, making videos and live streams and stuff so he's finally come back and he's trying to make a name for himself again and he wants to do something epic that's going to get him the proper attention so he's going to go to this haunted house and stream it and do all kinds of crazy stuff like taunt the ghost and stuff and try to uncover the mystery uh, so without actually like telling you every little detail, that's the most I'm going to tell you. But I will say that if that doesn't interest you, I will say that this film has also got a shit ton of comedy in there. Like it's it's really funny and goofy and cheesy and ridiculous, uh, but at the same time, it's also fucking terrifying. It's easily the scariest film I have seen since Lights Out. It's the only film that's honestly kind of like got my heart beating really fast you know to the point where i was like wow this movie's intense and kind of creepy dude i mean there's definitely a couple times where i jumped because of the jump scares and with most films when the jump scares just keep coming in at you you eventually get used to it you get numb to it you know a jump scare happens and you're eventually just like okay cool you know not with this film though not with this film because they're they put these jump scares in here expertly to the point where you cannot predict them there's no, like in, in several films that I've seen, and actually a lot of films I've seen that involve jump scares, you'll see kind of a lead up. You'll see like the stereotypical shots that happen right before a jump scare. Like, oh, let me peek around a door. Or, you know, let me show a shot of, you know, somebody looking around a house. They don't notice the person standing in the back corner, and then all of a sudden they're gone, and then they turn a corner, and the thing's right there. You know, it's, it's stereotypical tropes. But this film completely subverts that. It's like there's nothing in this film that you'd probably expect coming. Uh, even whenever they do do those classic things, you know, where you're like, you pull like a camera up over your face and you look and then you pull it down and there's something there, you know, it still scares the shit out of you. Um, so even when they do have those like typical type jump scares, it works. At least it did for me. It freaked me out, dude. Especially the final jump scare. I'm not going to go into it, but just saying the final jump scare of the film scared the ever loving shit out of me. And it doesn't even, it's not even accompanied by a jump scare noise. It's just the visual alone freaked me out i jumped from the visual alone it wasn't even the noise so nonetheless dude deadstream is one that you're not going to want to miss yes it's a found footage film uh yes it's got it's basically a comedy horror film that'll make you laugh it'll make you kind of like cringe a little bit because it's got kind of like a cringy film because of the character and stuff that he, the guy plays uh to the people who made this film you guys you, you guys ought to be damn proud of yourself because um, I didn't see this coming whatsoever. Uh, and I gotta say, whenever a Shutter film drops, I'm always excited, but I'm weary because the quality of some Shutter films can be so so. You know, they could be good, really good, or they're really bad. There's like, it's always one of those options. It's never like consistently amazing. It's like, you never know what you're gonna get. It's like a mixed bag. And you know what? I kind of like that because it makes watching Shutter films that much more interesting because I never know if I'm gonna like the film or not. So. Nonetheless, Deadstream, what do I give it out of 10? Dude, I'm going to have to give Deadstream a 10 out of 10. It's easily probable. I would say it's one of the best found footage films I've ever seen. It's it's one that, honestly, like I, to the f people who I was talking about earlier that don't like found footage films, if you don't like found footage films, I feel like this is one that would might make you change your opinion. If you watch this, you might completely change your opinion on found footage films because it's not one that's like paranormal activity that you know does a bunch of cheap stuff like jump scares in your face out of nowhere and stuff it's like there's actually a plot to this a really good plot surprisingly uh and a good story and good makeup effects by the way fantastic makeup effects oh my god and again the jump scares ah! they are terrific and not even just the jump scares the suspense leading up to the jump scares is awesome 
I love everything about it, dude. 10 out of 10 for Deadstream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.